Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs. Uh, it's really cold here again today so I'm finishing a cup of coffee and I've been working on a little project I want to share with you. This isn't my idea um, but I love it and I think that you need to know about it. This is um, an idea over at Love for Paper Goodies from Instagram and um, she's across the great pond and I follow her religiously and I just love the little paper products she does on her Instagram site. So if you don't follow her, I highly recommend if you're on Instagram to follow her because you will really, really, really enjoy her items. So this is a little, this is kind of on, I'm still going with the flow for my book club. Um, if you go back, you can see the tag books that I made to keep track of what we read. And I want to make the girls a corner bookmark. And it looks like this. It looks like the, this reminds me when I fold it of the, um, the footballs that we, the boys used to make in high school during lunch. And they used to play football at the, um, at the lunch tables. That was many, 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 many years ago. But I really like these. I think they're adorable. And I want to show you what they look like. Now, you can make them in different sizes. So this is a small one. And then this is a larger one. And I'll show you the two size of papers I used. So this is one of the new books I got by the fantastic author um, of Carlos Ruiz Zafron. Um, he's Spanish, and I, I read all his books. He's he's fantastic. So you just take this corner bookmark, and you stick it just like this on your book page, and there you go. You've got yourself a great little bookmark. And the thing, the one thing that I really like about this, I have the bookmarks that are magnetized, and they slide over the top or side of your book. The design is on both sides, and I can never remember is it on, was I reading this page or did I clip it on here and read this page? But with this, you have your line in the back. So you know that this is the back and this is the front. So um, I'm gonna show you how to make these. So if you wanna stick around, um, thank you. Thank you for staying and watching. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you like this and some of my other videos, I also invite you to subscribe. Love to have you as a subscriber because I do a lot of fun things and I have to slow down. I've had my coffee, a little too much caffeine. It's a busy day. I'm trying to get a lot of things in. So I think it's time just to take a breath, relax, and start these. So, the bookmark size that I used for this is this page right here. And it comes out of a really pretty um, floral book. Just getting my ruler. One thing I forgot. So, this paper is nine and a half by seven. All right. So, again, the larger your page, the larger your corner bookmark. Um, the smaller the page, the smaller your bookmark. These would be a perfect size if you have a paperback book, all right? And this page here, um, this bar bookmark here came from this size page here. And so this measures uh, about seven and three quarters by five. So this is a perfect size for a paperback book. So the first thing that you do is you get your page and it doesn't really matter what size or what side you use. Um, you're going to fold it up here and have it You're going to make your triangle like this, okay? Then you're going to cut this top part off. And 
save these because you never know when you may need to use one. Then the next step that you're going to do is your, these are so easy. You're going to fold this up to the top here. And then you're going to, you will fold this up here. Now this is a little bit thicker paper. So I'm just kind of using my bone folder here to help get a nice point down here. Okay. You'll meet these here. Okay. And then this is basically your back. Okay. So you're going to fold it like that. You'll open it up. You're going to take this top here and you're going to fold it down by each line. I just bring the tip right down here like this. Okay. And then you'll fold it again. All right. So now that's kind of hidden in there. All right. So you fold that. Then what you do is you take this here, you bring it up and you fold this down inside. Okay. And if your paper kind of buckles, just keep using your bone folder. Then you're going to bring this one up and you're going to fold this one down inside. You're going to tuck it right down in there. All right. So see how that is? Then you're going to take this here. And what I usually do, what I did on my other one, because this is a little bit thicker paper, I first bring it back this way. All right. Just so I've got that little fold there. All right. Then I just kind of work my fingers again because it's a little heavier paper you're going to work your fingers then you're going to take this and you're going to tuck this right down inside to where that fold is all right and then you're just going to score this and there is your triangle and it's nice and sturdy all right, and that's it. So let's do that one more time, just so you have the hang of it. You know exactly what to do here. All right, let's get these in. Let's get these in camera here so you can see. I'm going to put the little one to the side. So once again, you're going to fold your paper up. As such and I just try to get this tip all in line there okay so once you have the fold you're going to cut the excess page off okay all right, and then you're going to fold this up to meet the top point up there. I'm going to take this one again and fold this again. Like I said, this is a little bit thicker paper, so you see what I did there? I just kind of helped fold that up there like that. We're going to meet this up here like that. All right, so there you go. You bring these back down. You're going to take your top. I can grab it. And you're going to bring this down like this. The point will meet the bottom here. Then this will come up here, All right? And then you're going to tuck this in here like this. That one in there. This is a little little 
And then you're going to take this one and you're going to do the same. You're going to tuck this down around and fold it in and over like that. Okay. Smooth it out. And then again, if it, you only have to do this if it's thicker paper. I'm just going to put a little crease there. It just helps get that over down inside. And there you have it. There. So they're fun, they're easy, and then we're going to decorate these. And then these will all be set and ready to give to the girls. And then I'll make one for myself. So on this one here, um, I stamped the back of it first. So we can go ahead and do that. Just pick any little stamp that you might like. Um, I chose this one here. This is from My Creative Studios. I hadn't used any of their stamps yet. And I just think this is really a pretty one. Um, so let me just show you what this looks like. So this is just a real pretty little floral. If you can see that, pretty little floral stamp. And I'm just going to stamp these on the back here. All right, just to add a little, a little something. Just a little pattern on the back here okay all right and then I'm gonna wait um, I did stamp the front too I think I will stamp the front again because I think it adds a little it just adds a little something and I wish I had a plain let me see if I have a plain paper here let me stamp it on here you can't really see on that it was kind of rude of me, wasn't it, to be stamping on that paper where, okay, so that one's done. Just kind of dress it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's done. All right. So I know what all my girlfriends are getting this year for Christmas. Um, I am going to make them three or four of these because I think they make great little Christmas gifts. So we have that there. And when you drink your coffee or tea, sometimes you have a, it's a good time to read your book, um, curl up on the couch. So I have this cute little, again, these are all from my paper store not my paper studio, that's Hobby Lobby. Um, oh gosh, what did I just say earlier? Um, no, my mind went blank. But all of these little ephemera packs are from the once a month kit I used to get. Isn't that awful? I just can't think. Um, there's nothing on the back. I'll think of it. I think this is a cute image. We're going to use that one. And I love the colors of this too. I think they're, they go really cute with, um, this is cute, tea time. But if I cut that off, I could use that there. I think that tea time is cute. All right. Okay, next. Um, let's use one of these pretty florals again for there. And I'd like to try to use a red. I know it's kind of hard to see here. Um, we could use this one here. A red or a pink just because it's so dark already. Let's see if we have any more little pinks. I'm just going to 
take that out of there. And deal with I'll deal with that later. I will deal with that later. Let's see here. How about this one? That might be kind of pretty. I just think that the reds or the pinks look best um, on this here. So let me trim around here. And I love these quick little easy projects. I just think it really breaks up the, I'm not going to say monotony of um, a junk journal or, but if you have a larger project going on, it's just nice to take a break, take a deep breath, regroup your mind, and uh, do something a little different. And then sometimes, too, you come back with, you know, a new idea. And I'm going to keep this number one because I think that will be fun to use back on here. All right, so we have that. And let's see, we're going to use the tea time. So I think what I'm going to do for this as well I'm going to raise that up there. I'm going to put the tea time here. Um, I do like, hold on a minute, where was that? Oh, right here. I do like these. this little postal. Um, Why can't I think? I'm definitely having a senior moment. And I can say that because I am a senior. Um, why can't I think of the name of that gosh darn monthly subscription I had subscribed to? I keep trying to think of, you know, when I did my videos, unboxing, blah, blah, blah. Um, your creative studio. Thank you. I heard somebody yelling it out to me. So all of these little ephemera pieces and the stamp are from your creative studio, which I really haven't used. Um, I've had the I've had the subscription boxes. I think I got over a two year period. I did it for the you can sign up for different months. I did it for four months. And I have not had the chance to use any. I haven't taken the opportunity. I've had the chance. I just haven't taken the opportunity to use any of their little ephemera pieces. So that's what I'm doing now. And little projects like this are perfect for just that. And then just trim off anything that you have overhanging. And I'm almost tempted to, I'm going to cut this out here. I'm going to take the handle off of that teapot. I'm just going to, and if I don't like it, I'm just going to set it aside and I'll use it for something else. But I think this will be much cuter if I kind of outline that teapot and again I'm going to let's see am I going to keep the oh yeah much much cuter and I'm actually going to move that I'll move that right over towards this corner here okay
Um, I will just do this to that. Okay. And it actually works out fairly well with um, this little piece here. All right, so we have that on there. And do I want to add this number one? I can add that number one right there. And this stuff dries quick. That's the only thing I really don't like about this art glitter glue is if you don't if you don't put it in the right spot right away. There, number one. Okay. So that that there. And we're just going to. around here and distress it a little bit there so there's that there's the second one isn't that cute I think that's really cute so we have this one and then we have that one all right let's decorate this one here just want to make sure you can still see And I think this is a project that, you know, once you start, you know, different ideas will, um, you know, come to you. And if you like the way something's turning out, you know, I'm kind of doing these similar. So you could really, uh, you know, make quite a few of these in a short period of time. And I like putting the little um, corners on here or getting rid of the corners, putting just the little um, only for the fact that it, it, you know, I can move it right over into this corner or you can keep it straight and then just clip that corner off if you're more inclined to do something like that. You can do it however you want to and however your style is. And then we're going to use that one, which I think is really cute. And I like this too. It says potion. So we are going to we are going to use that potion. I think maybe down below on here. Let's cut this. Let's see where we're at here. And we're going to cut this out and about. Look at me, my such a big girl with big scissors should have used my smaller ones but these were in my hand i've been waiting all day well i shouldn't say all day i've been waiting since one o'clock for my um heating and air man to show up. And of course, he is not here. He hasn't come. Um, I waited on Monday. I waited all day, all morning for 
my carpenter to come because I had a question for him and he had to change something out for me. And wouldn't you know, he didn't come. So I'm finding that today's help all of a sudden isn't that dependable. And I don't know what the heck is going on. Okay, so... I think I make I may cut out these T these little tea or coffee mugs. Move that over. There, I think that's let me just try something. Let me see if I put this up here. And I put this over here like that. That might be kind of cute too. What do you think? You think I should put it there and have it like that? Or do you think I should put it back over here? I think I should have it up here. I think it looks cuter up here. And then I can trim that one edge off. And I'm wondering, this isn't a sticker. Is this a sticker or no? I don't think these are stickers. fold that over and find out. No, these aren't. They feel like a sticker, so I thought, well, I just better, I had just better check, but it's not. Okay, so we're going to, I probably should have cut that side off too, shouldn't I have? But that's okay, because we'll have the flower there. Okay. Okay, we got that there. And we have our little, we're going to have our flower here like this. And I'd like to, maybe I can put something down in this corner. Or I could just have that in that corner like that. I could have that, I think I'll put that like that. I think I will put that like that. Like that and then over here I'm going to put which will offset this little bit here that's driving me nuts I wish I had cut that out but I'm gonna put this little potion right there and that will solve my problem notice I say my problem nobody else's 
there. Well, I think that's really cute. So there are the three different, um, we're going to add just a little, I'm going to distress around here because I do like the way that looks with the distressing. Okay, there's that one, and let's do this one here. There. There. Aren't they cute? Let's clear a let's clear a path off for the, the stars of the show here. So there are our there are our three very cute corner um, bookmarks. Yeah, so if you like this video, everybody, give me a thumbs up. And I just think it's a very, very cute idea. Um, they fit perfectly over your, your book pages. And um, it's just something different than using a traditional bookmark that you do and again these are these are just really cute they're pretty in your book and if you want to have a couple different areas if you want to use one where you want to reference back or these would be great for bible journaling also um, in a in a book you can have a couple of them if you want to refer back so that's it, my friends. Um, that's all I've got for you today. I think that's enough. I'd love to hear if you try these, and that'd be great. So thank you, everybody, and have a really great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.